Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to install DaVinci Resolve on an Arch-based Linux distribution, specifically Endeavor OS. So there's some prerequisites that we need to ensure that you have to do this installation process. One, you need to ensure that you have the proprietary drivers for your graphics card installed. Uh, for me today, I have my NVIDIA graphics card and proprietary drivers installed. If you have an AMD card, you need to ensure that those proprietary drivers are installed. All the other parts of the installation process, you're gonna be able to watch here from point A to the very end. And how I'm going to achieve this is I'm gonna use a virtual machine to uh, show you the initial installation and things that you need to make sure you have. We'll go through that and then when it's time to actually um, run DaVinci Resolve, we'll move to my actual desktop because virtual machines and DaVinci Resolve, they don't get along. So that way you can see the final steps and process to get going here. So let's go ahead and switch to the desktop. Um, a little VM running Endeavor OS, which is an Arch-based distribution. And as you will know, the steps for this will work for any Arch distribution. So what I want to do is I always, I've been learning to go to the AUR ArchLinux.org packages list or the Arch Linux packages list to ensure that I'm going to have everything I need to make this thing work. Um, so I'm, I've am i read through here and I see that this dependency is needed to get this going. There's two things that you've got to make sure you've got before you do this install. One, you need to ensure this um, libxcript.compat package is installed. And two, you need to ensure that if you're using Pulse Audio like I am, um, that you've got the also plugins um, running through that because um, that's what DaVinci Resolve uses. It uses also so for its sound server. So we're going to make sure that we can do what we got to do. So we've got to get terminal going. Console. All right. So it is quite simple. If you are scared of the terminal, don't be. Um, I'm a new user. Um, so if I can do it, you can definitely do it. Um, and what we're going to install first is this libxcrypt compat deal. So I'm going to use sudo command pacman command s Seems to be an install command. Remember, I'm new to uh, libx script script dot com. Let's see if it's got it. Um. Oh, I mistyped my password. <laughs> there we go. Proceed with installation. Yes going to find it on them their internets and now it's installed next piece I'm going to install is I am going to install let's see uh, this pulse audio slash also so I am going to go sudo backman s pulse audio also. Well, since I also can't type, uh, that's a problem. Let's try that again, shall we? Pseudo man slash s pulse audio. Also. All right, that's what I want to install. Doo -doo -doo. And I'm also going to install this pull, I mean, also plugins. Make sure that's 
got what it needs. So, pseudo Batman. If you're bogged down by typing some characters, do yourself a favor. Check out the time it takes for you to find the package that you need through a graphical, you know, app store or whatever, trying to find what you need. Most of the time you're typing in what you're looking for anyways. This is pretty great, great way to do things. So the Pac-Man slash S, then I want 32, and I know you're like, wait a second, you're, you're probably using 64-bit. Just trust me. This is what I need. All right. Boom. Now. The AUR, the user repository, is just a little different. It's actually a shorter command set to do the install. It's pretty easy. This one, because we're using the AUR versus the Arch Linux repository, the Arch, oh, <laughs> we're using the Arch Linux repository, the AUR, to install DaVinci Resolve not the traditional Arch Linux repository, okay, for all the applications. So when I'm using the AUR, I need to use, yay! Look at that. And then I'm going to now type in DaVinci Resolve. And let's just make sure I do this right, make sure I get the right one. Resolve Studio 17. Let's see here. It'll search for it. There's a beta version, and there is the regular one. I'm going to install the non beta one. I'm going to install one. There is some extra repository. Oh, those are the ones that are providing this. So we are going to choose this one because I don't know any better. And in, no differences to show. Proceed with installation, yes. And here we go all dependent upon my internet speed here. Okay, so it just took a second to download the zip file of the software. And now it's installing. So you didn't miss much, but I didn't think you needed to sit through and watch my download. DaVinci is pretty important to me. Um, the first two videos I've done on this channel were on DaVinci Resolve. I know there's other options like Caden Life, but for me, um, something that I was fairly familiar with with some of the other um, video editors that I work with at work, they use DaVinci Resolve. And so um, I felt more comfortable in this situation at this time. Um, it also has some killer features like having Fusion, which is a compositor. Um, kind of like an After Effects on steroids kind of situation. Also, the Audio Studio has most of the plugins that I would use. Um, so, all right, it has finished. So, let us see if it installed here, DaVinci Resolve. Now, my guess is since this doesn't have and NVIDIA, it's not going to detect the NVIDIA proprietary driver on this um, virtual machine. It's probably going to do something funky. Let's find out. What's new? All right, continue. Skip and start right now. Okay, it's looking for an activation key. Um, I have an activation key, not giving it to you. So let me switch over to my desktop and let me show you mine. 
DaVinci Resolve. Great program. And here we are. Uh, simple and easy. You can see, I'll just do this so you can see. Um, works great. So you go and you're able to do what you like to do. And you also have Fusion, which is great. And that's a really funky face. Um, color correcting is unbelievable on this. Um, you can sit there and really get in the weeds on your color correction, which I absolutely love. Look at that. Look at that. Love it. I don't know if I can deal with this, but it's really great. You also have your fair light situation. So you can see I've got my audio set um, with my dynamics. I've got a limiter. So I've got compressor, limiter, EQ, um, and then I have all of these extra effect plugins that I can use that is already installed on DaVinci Resolve. So because of those things, I really like this. So uh, that just shows you what you get once you install. If you install the free version, let me switch off of here and talk to you right here. If you install the free version, you don't need a product key. Um, there are some limitations with that. Also be aware if you're recording with something like an iPhone, you have AAC as your audio file format um, and it don't like it. So I have to use a little script, use FFmpeg and uh, get the audio changed. It takes like that. So I download the video I run the script, it takes less than 10 seconds, and then I work with that, um, and things work great. So, thanks for joining me today. I hope that helped you be able to feel confident to install DaVinci Resolve on an Arch-based system like Endeavor OS. And um, if you liked the video, you stuck it out, you made it through the whole video, give it a like and subscribe. It'll help me out. Um, till next time.